In the last lecture, we completed half wave voltage doubler. In this lecture, I will explain working of full wave voltage doubler circuit. This is the circuit and we have to analyze it for different half cycles. This diode is diode D1. This diode is diode D2. This capacitor is C1 and this capacitor is C2. We are measuring the output voltage. We are measuring the output voltage across capacitors C1 and C2 and let's call the output voltage V out. The input voltage which we are getting from the transformer is V in. I will first analyze it for positive half cycle then we will analyze it for negative half cycle. There is one assumption that we have to make capacitors C1 and C2 are discharged, discharged initially both the capacitors we are using in this circuit C1 and C2 are discharged initially and in case of positive half cycle this is the polarity of the input voltage and V in is equal to Vm diode D1 is forward biased because P side is connected to the positive terminal and N side is connected to the negative terminal diode D2 is reverse biased because N side is connected to the positive terminal and P side is connected to the negative terminal so for positive half cycle for positive half cycle diode D1 is forward biased and diode D2 is reversed biased after this I will replace D1 and D2 with their equivalent models D1 is replaced by short circuit because we are considering the ideal diode model and D2 will remain open circuited so I will replace D1 with short circuit like this and D2 will remain open circuited now we have to calculate voltage across capacitor C1 and let's say the voltage across capacitor C1 is VC1 I will use Kirchhoff's voltage law and by using Kirchhoff's voltage law we have Vm plus Vm minus of VC1 because polarity of C1 is like this this plate is connected to the positive terminal so this plate will have positive charge this plate is connected to the negative terminal so it will have the negative charge is equal to zero so VC1 is equal to Vm this is what we have in positive half cycle I will again draw this circuit and this time we will analyze it for negative half cycle for negative half cycle voltage across capacitor C1 is equal to Vm and we have to calculate voltage across capacitor C2 that is Vc2 in case of negative half cycle this will be the polarity of input voltage Vm and when this happens diode D1 will be forward biased because P side is connected to the negative terminal and N side is connected to the positive terminal in the same way diode D2 will remain forward biased I will replace them with their equivalent models we have open circuit in place of diode D1 and we have short circuit in place of diode D2 now you have to use your eyes really well to find out charge accumulated on the two plates and also to use the Kirchhoff's voltage law you can see this plate is connected to the positive terminal so this plate will have positive charge and this plate here is connected to the negative terminal so this plate will have the negative charge now I will use the Kirchhoff's voltage law to obtain the voltage VC2 I will move in clockwise direction like this we have minus of Vm minus of Vm then I will move like this the circuit is not connected here now I will move like this we have plus of Vc2 and we will go like this back to the same position so equal to 0 so Vc2 is simply equal to Vm and now the final circuit the final circuit will have the charged capacitors both the capacitors are now charged and having the voltage Vm and I'm interested in calculating the output voltage V out I will again use the Kirchhoff's voltage law and I will move in clockwise direction plus Vm 
from this capacitor we have plus Vm plus Vm from this capacitor we have plus Vm equal to V out so V out is simply twice of Vm so this circuit is working as voltage doubler now what is the difference between half wave voltage doubler and full wave voltage doubler circuits the half wave voltage doubler charges one capacitor on the negative half wave then discharges it into the output capacitor on the positive half wave. I have already explained this in the last lecture. This has the disadvantage of having the ripple voltage at the line frequency. On the other hand, the full wave voltage doubler is just two half wave rectifiers of opposite polarity. The advantage is that the output ripple is twice the line frequency. In the next lecture, I will explain working of voltage tripler and voltage quadrupler. This is all for this lecture. See you in the next one.